Good enough. Thank you. Like <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Well, we have some stuff, you know, living off grid, you always want to find stuff that's like a low power consumption or uh, something no power, basically. And when it comes to cooking, you know, you got a lot of, uh, I guess, appliances that use a lot of energy and a lot of electricity to, you know, to use to chop up your food and stuff like that. So what we have here today, we just want to show you guys what we found. And this thing's actually pretty cool. It requires no electricity, no batteries, no nothing. It's all manually operated. And it's a chopper. It's actually a food chopper. It chops up food. You know, you got the kind that you mash down on and then you got the kind of selector. You want to show it to them, Bo? Yeah. Okay, open it up and show it. Okay. Okay, right here, open it up right here. Right there. Okay, get it out. All right, go out of the bag. Now show them that. Can you get it out? Yeah. There you go. Okay, okay. Sure. Show, show them how it works, Bubba. Just like that. It's all hand powered. It's almost like cranking a weed eater, ain't it, Bubba? Yeah. So you take this thing and you pull it like this. And it actually spins. There's actually blades in here. Let's show them the blade, Bubba. You gotta open it up. There we go. Okay, let me, okay, let me show them. There's the blades. It's actually a three bladed deal. And them's actually pretty, pretty sharp. They're pretty sharp. There's like a little peg in here. You set the blades down on top of, like that. And this top right here is almost like the head on a weed area you know, where you pull it, and it retracts the string right there. Can I try it? Yeah, try it. Just like that, yeah. This thing's got like a square <laughs> peg on it. It fits right into the top of this blade thing here. You stick it right into it. Like that, and just kind of lock, lock it. Like that, and then you pull it. Just like that. The blades go. Yes, yeah, so spin it. Spin the it. The go. Yeah, show them spin it. See the blades go. Yeah. <laughs> it chops. It chops. Yeah. You want to cut up something and put it in it and show them how it works? Yeah. Okay, let's set this over to the side. How it works. We're actually going to cut up an onion and put it in there because we're going to make some egg salad. We're, we started to make some, so we figured we'd show how this thing works on video. So let me grab the stuff here. Got a little cutting board. We got us an onion. Okay. All right, guys, these right here are the knives that come from Real King. These things are a dollar a piece, and they're actually they're actually sharp. really good knives. But every now and again, you got to put an edge on them, and something else we got at the flea market was this knife sharpener right here. These things are 15, 20 bucks at Walmart and stuff like that, and this thing was $4 at the flea market, brand new in the pack. And this is probably one of the best sharpeners that I've ever used. I mean, this thing absolutely is... is but like everything is put in there, rake it back. You got a coarse, medium, and a fine. Like that, and you just hit it a couple times. And I mean, it puts a major edge on it. Okay, just like right there. And just, just like that. Then we just peel it off just a little bit. Like that. You gonna chop it, Bubba? Yeah. Okay, and when I get it cut up, I'll put it in there, and you can chop him up for me, okay? The onion. The onion. <laughs> I smell something. And it goes in there and chop it. Yeah. yeah, you're gonna chop it. Look at him rub his eyes. <laughs> okay. Break all that off the chopping board here. We're just gonna do like half of it, okay? Okay. I'll do half up right there. Set the other half over here out of the way. Okay, now we're gonna do just slice him up. Okay, let's put a little bit in here. We'll put, well, I'll let you we'll just put the whole thing in there. It's half an onion. Probably fit a whole onion in there. Mm -hmm. All right, Bob, put the top on it. Okay, you to chop it up. Time to chop it up. Time to chop it up, guys. <laughs> okay, ready? That's burning my eyes out. Mine too. Pull it, Bob. There you go. Pull it again. <laughs> That's getting her out <laughs> <laughs> that thing is absolutely that's pretty impressive mm -hmm. this thing was like four dollars four or five dollars and papa got us all crying <laughs> <you know? laughs> that's pretty rough ain't it Bubba? let's get that put it in here and papa can show everybody okay 
I'm going to get a... I'll just use my finger. I'll wash my hands. My eyes are burning. Are yours? Yeah. That's I think. That's way better than I thought it'd do. Look at that. Mm. I mean, that's, that's way better than I thought it would okay, do. Okay, we're going to need to set that one somewhere else. Yeah, we're going to have to do something else with that. Ooh. <laughs> While those eggs are boiling, here's something else we got at the flea market. This right here is uh, just a generic chopper knife. <clears throat> it is stainless steel. And that thing right there, is, it's, got, it's real heavy. It's got a lot of weight to it. And it's got a major edge on it, too. I mean, it is absolutely sharp. Stainless steel. I mean, I haven't tried it on anything yet. But we've been wanting one for when we start processing chickens and stuff. That'd be perfect for chopping meat, chopping anything, really. It'd be perfect. But, I mean, it, you can look at it. I mean, it's got fingerprints on it, of course, where I've been handling it. But that thing is... It's real heavy. I mean, it's really heavy. And I think this was either 4 or $5 on it mm -hmm. at the flea market. Smoky Mountain Flea Market, I think, is the name of it. Something like that. Yeah. Uh, we got that. But anyway, we're going to... That's going to come in real handy when we start processing meat birds and stuff like that. All right, guys. We got the eggs boiled, and I peeled them. And as you can see, they're peeled eggs, and I put four in there. And uh, we also have a video on how to peel these things. You know, where they don't tear all the pieces, a good way to peel eggs and stuff. We use it every time, and they come out pretty much perfect every time. So, with that being said, uh, I'm going to put this back together, and Bubba's going to chop up the eggs. Yes. Mark, set, go. I can't pull it like that. Okay, now you can. That's a pretty good job, Bubba. This thing is pretty impressive as far as chopping this stuff up. I mean, how, how it chops it up. For like, I think it was like $4. It turned that into a powder, Bubba. You ready to open it and look at it? Yeah. Okay, let's look at it. That is cool looking. That's a pretty good job. Okay, you ready to pour it in onion? Yeah. Okay, let me open it up. Then you can pour it in there. Then it's going to make you cry again. What? Them onions. If you smell them. Ready? Okay, you want to scoop it okay, in scoop there? Scoop the rest of it in there. We have the dill relish. Dill relish. Dill relish. Okay, you want to help? Yeah. Okay, let me reach. Okay, reach right in there and get some. Okay. Put that in there. How many scoops you want now? Three. Okay. Three? Yeah. One more. Okay, got to put a little bit of mayonnaise. You ready for the mayonnaise? Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's enough mayonnaise. Excuse me. Stir them up real good. I don't like mayonnaise. You don't like mayonnaise? Okay, buddy, ready? Ketchup? No, mustard. mustard. Okay, mustard. stir him up. Stir it real good. You gonna try it? No. Okay, let's see. Let's see how it tastes. Okay, let's see. 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 If you cook it, you're supposed to try it. Hi. You want to try a bite? No, I'm not. I'm cooking for you. Oh, you're cooking for me? About right. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Like it's fun. 